Okay, we are back in the studio and we have a bit to go over. First things first, I know I have been still keeping up on an average of one video per week. And for a while I have been uploading about three videos per week, but now not so much. Such is the law of rhythm, the ebbs and flows of life. Of course, I have been uploading shorts as well. So there's plenty of content out there. So it seems that the more we look, the less we find. The more we learn, the less we know. The more we hear, the less we listen. Aside from that, let's go over why I don't talk too much about astrology or tarot, or politics for that matter. I know that they are hot topics, especially in the occult sphere. I know for a while the mage sphere was heavily tied into politics, but quite frankly, it was bad magic. And a bad understanding of the occult. Topics. Now I know that the occult is a broad subject, and there are many viewpoints and ideas in the mage sphere, but let's not get in the way of ourselves. There is bad magic out there, and there is bad occultism out there. There are bad systems and just bad spells in general. I mean, they're out there. Now, I'm not saying that in the sense that magic, well, bad magic doesn't work. It certainly does and can work. I'm not saying that bad magic is evil. It doesn't fall in line with certain principles just like that and usually tends to backfire at least somewhere further down the line anyways in the near future that it backfires further down the line. Now, the reason I don't talk about politics much is because of the political rhetoric out there is incomplete and views social interaction and just geopolitics in general through an incomplete lens. More so through a false lens, which is much of what astrology explains and how the planets move through the signs and houses, by the way. Does that mean that astrology is false or bullshit? No, not at all. I myself have found astrology to be very accurate in regards to my own natal chart. So, about money magic. Money magic is in a way bad magic, usually. That's not to say that money magic doesn't work or can't work. It's just that money magic only addresses acquiring the means to another and rather than the end of itself, in and of itself. In fact, a lot of magic is like this, incomplete, and not directly addressing the end and of itself. That's not to say that it's ineffective or bad in the sense of evil, rather just incomplete. And incomplete does not necessarily mean it's ineffective either. I think I've mentioned that before, but... I'll digress. Now, I have talked about direction and energy before and how that is important. In fact, of utmost importance in regards to the process of manifestation from not only the ether, but also the physical world as well, as a physical realm and ethereal or non-physical realm are intertwined. In fact, that's where a lot of paranormal activity comes from. And I think that'll be about it for this video. I'll see you next time. We'll see each other next time, actually. So there's that. Take care.